Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. And they do bleed damage. Let's see it in action. Holy. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to another Terraria video. Today, we are checking out what Terraria sentries should have been. Now, there's a lot of mods that add in sentries. And there's even, like, mods that add in whole, like, overhaul classes for sentries. Which I've done a playthrough on. Playlists or video thumbnail will pop up somewhere. But, yeah, today, we are specifically checking out the Thorium mod. And let's go ahead. We're in the lab for once. I know I feel bad that I don't use the lab all the time, but I could get a little destructive. So that's why I tend to stay away from the lab. But yeah, we're in the lab. We're checking out the thorium sentries. Everything should be set up here. Yeah, there we go. We're out here in the sky, but let's get to it. Thorium has some of the funnest sentries, some of the coolest looking sentries, in my opinion. And we got pr a ton of pre hardwood ones, and we got a handful of hardwood ones. Let's get to it. No, vanilla terraria only has what, like legit a handful, four or five, maybe a little bit more than that like seven uh if you don't include like each variation of the old one's armies being a separate one because the old one's army alone you know that added in a good bit of centuries to terraria but yeah let's go ahead let's get to it here let's start with the pre hard mode ones i'm excited to check these out i've always wanted to do a summoner playthrough in the thorium mod but we'll see we'll see what happens the other playthroughs never finish so who knows but yes let us start with this one the antlion staff summons an antlion spitter to attack nearby enemies now i believe this is legit just an ant line look at that see it in action okay uh i should have took this design and noticed that they were gonna fall through the platform my bad hold up he's coming back up here you know what let's just bring him back up here okay it shoots sand just like an ant line does i'm hoping that if it misses it doesn't leave any sand now that would just be a very bad thing but i'm positive it doesn't next up we got the spitting fish we might have to go somewhere else for this one because it says the fish can only be summoned within a body of water summons a water bound fish to spit up at enemies maybe i can make like a little puddle let's make a little puddle somewhere okay we got a decent sized body of water here does this work oh look beautiful all right let's summon in the skeleton how well does it aim from there now i'm assuming you can use this in a lot better areas or a lot better arenas or something but uh this is the setup we got going now so <laughs> and it wasn't that bad you know it was able to actually kill the enemy only because the enemy was walking at it but still really cool i love it i don't know it reminds me of like a mario fish enemy but you gotta admire how unique it is that you know you get to spawn it in a different area than just spawning it on the floor next up we got the devourer staff some a grounded devourer to assault enemies now i believe this one is very similar to the antline one look at that that boy is chunky let's see him in action okay good effort i oh, <laughs> come on let's try it again okay is he like a enemy that only attacks things that fly above him it looks like it oh that's a good attack though that is a very good attack maybe it's oh no look he shot at that one i i, I really don't know yeah on to the next which is the bleeding heart staff summons a beating heart to splash nearby enemies with blood if the heart damages more than five enemies in one splash it will panic and attack faster sounds disgusting let's see it in action though okay i, I gotta be a little bit annoyed that the skeletons keep on going that way but yeah what, what did this thing say if the heart damages more than five enemies in one splash it shoots faster so uh what's gonna be the best way to do this you're just spawning a bunch of zombies there you go there you go okay i like that i like that a lot that's really good another good crowd control weapon right there there you go i made my life a little easier move the skeleton onto that side on to the next century the creeping vine staff this one might be one of my favorites so far just because i really do like the uh trappers whatever the hell you want to call them man-eating plants venus fly trap whatever i like these things they're cool let's see it in action boom there it is it looks a little stuck i don't know if i summon that right can i summon it anywhere oh you can summon it anywhere okay summons a mud clump infested with with a voracious man-eating plant that's a big word let's see it in action oh yes we got our own like plantera arm or tentacle very nice imagine having a couple of these these things would be destructive on to the next we got the nano clam cane summons a baby giga clam that spits volleys of pearls at enemies now i believe i have seen this one in the past because i think this one existed in like an older summoner playthrough that i did but there you go look at that it's a clam it shoots pearls what did you expect and next up we got the strongest link and i ain't talking about legend of zelda summons a spinning spike ball on a chosen block that repels enemies so this is the one i was thinking of where you have to you know specifically put it on a block and it's exactly what you expect you've been to the dungeon you've seen one of these things before and they do bleed damage oh my 
That's pretty good. That bleed damage looks like it hurts. That does like what a nice 20 tick of damage. That's that's not bad at all. This one is another one where having multiple would be insane. On to the next set of summons here. These should be the rest of the pre-hard mode summons. We have the strange skull and look at it. Looks very familiar, right? Everyone's favorite video game. But yeah, summons a ghastly skull to shoot laser beams at enemies, which cause damage over time. Boom. Now, back in the day, you used to be able to control this thing, but I think there's a different weapon now. In Thorium, that's a summon weapon that you control. But now, it's just straight up a sentry. It shoots on its own. It controls on its own. Very nice. The less effort in a summoner playthrough, the better. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, next up, we got the Weed Eater. Summons a stationary poison spitting plant, but very nice. Oh. Ooh, plants versus zombie type beat right here let me see it in action okay it takes a little while to shoot but it did shoot eventually okay yeah it kind of like charges up there's like a weird animation for a charge up flashes a bunch of colors it's still pretty cool though next up we got the infernal animator summons a stationary molten protector to repel it and burn foes that's a mouthful let's see it in action though damn my boy got the sword on him oh oh he's ready for action now what is this like a solar weapon? I don't know. It looks like a like a solar pillar type enemy or item. But yeah, very cool. Next up we got the boulder probe staff. Summons a floating mass of granite energy that continually zaps your cursor's position. Here we go. This pretty much took over the uh, strange skull attack. Right click to desummon the probe early. We ain't doing that today. Let's go ahead. Let's aim it. Not bad not bad i guess it does give you something to do as a summoner if you're just you know, not focusing on dodging the whole time but uh you know not too bad especially if you get a bunch of them next up we have the totem caller summons a chosen totem sentry at your cursor's position right click to switch between four different totems so we got four different totems here i'm assuming oh it actually tells you wind water fire earth Let's go ahead, let's start with the fire one. Boom, and they all got different animations and sprites, which is very cool. Let's see them in action here, beautiful. Nice and simple, but effective. Next up, we got the earth one. Let's see it in action, damn. This one kills real quick. If it lands a double tap, this time it didn't. Next up, we got the wind one. What is this one gonna do, blow people away? I don't know, I guess we'll see kind of it blows them up not away and last but not least let's go ahead and check out the water version here oh look at that sort of like a water park is that supposed to be a turtle it looks like a turtle i think a sea turtle oh if the enemy like walks right in the middle of it while it's shooting it hits it with like almost every single projectile that or it just doesn't hit it at all <laughs> all right and last but not least my favorite one from thorium because this one has been in thorium for a minute uh i don't remember if it was a century in the past it probably was a century i don't know uh because you were you were only able to summon one of them and that is the distress caller summons a stationary ufo to blast enemies below it this is a classic and it even has a cooler animation now but look at this thing beautiful doesn't exactly kill the skeleton but good enough but yeah there you go there was all the pre-hard mode ones very nice let us go ahead and hop in to the hard mode ones which isn't a lot but they're still gonna be very cool no matter what it's thorium come on started with our first one here the fungal cane summons a mushroom cap that pelts enemies with gaseous spores let's see it in action here okay i see it oh those spore clouds are probably gonna be pretty damn good for uh, crowd controlling we summon in a bunch here look at that they're just getting they're getting spawn killed what can they do next up we got the mortar staff summons a living mortar to launch bombs at your enemies let's see it in action here i believe this is a turtle no i believe you get it from a turtle though uh, it looks way cooler than a turtle i believe in the past though it was a turtle <laughs> Let's see it in action. Oh, that's pretty clean. I wonder how long the range is. It's gotta be pretty decent range, right? Let me see if I can put it to the test here. Now calm down. Right here. Is this is that far? Okay, what about over here? Damn, okay, that's pretty good range. Next up, we got the Void Lance. Tears a rift into another dimension over your cursor. Interesting. Over my cursor. Wait, so what they just walk through this? Oh, okay. As simple as that, it just shoots stuff out of the rift. Next up, we got the Aeon Staff for the Ion Staff. Summons a legendary Valfor to assault enemies and blow them away. Valfor can only exist in one place at a time. Interesting. The Mighty Valfor. Okay, the, uh, the, the purple portal didn't go away. Look at that legendary let's see it in action so does it hurt enemies by blowing them away not really it doesn't even look like it blows them away too much if i'm being honest let me put it like over there 
Like, maybe they're moving faster. I don't know. I can't really tell. But still cool nonetheless. I'm going to put Valfour and this dude over here. Just in case I can't de-summon them. <laughs> Next up, we got the Rude Wand. Now, the Rude Wand, as you can see, is very similar to the Totem Caller. And the Totem Caller is a material. And I'm assuming it's a material that goes into this maybe unless there's just something from the fargo's mod let's see yes okay so it is just the fargo's mod yep all right let's see it in action though starting with the first phase pulse phase interesting so it summons a floating totem that attacks enemies right click to switch between okay got it let's see it in action pulse okay that's yep that's a pulse all right next up we got laser come on this should be way better laser there we go a lot faster too oh that skeleton made it to the other summons but yeah this one a lot faster than the pulse one but the pulse one is a good crowd control one buster i wonder what this one's gonna do buster sword no it's just gonna bust on him nice a big explosion here i'm assuming that hits multiple enemies and last but not least we got our last phase here the spread one which also might be good crowd control let's see i don't know is it shooting like a spread of lasers yes it is very nice on to the next vault module summons an unstable electricity generating turret here we go matches my outfit look at that let's see it in action here this is pretty much like the martian stuff and i've always liked the martian event in terms of like you know how it looks and the theme kind of wish there was more items and weapons based around the martian stuff in vanilla terraria that is but you know that's what we got modded terraria for to fill that void yeah this one's pretty cool i kind of want to see it range an enemy out there we go because i knew it'd look cool if it did that but yeah on to the next or i guess the last the promethean staff summons an echo of slag's fury's power to melt your foes so i'm assuming is this the primordial oh it is the primordial which is the last boss in thorium let's see it in action holy this boy ain't playing. He's got the circle attack and then he puts his hands in the air for the other attack. Well, let's see him against a slime, a king slime, I guess. I bet all of these centuries would do pretty good against bosses, but come on. Let's see my boy here solo the king slime as a century. It's going pretty good too. It's going pretty quick. There we go. That was like what? 10 seconds 20 seconds maybe even less than that but yeah there you go there was all these centuries from the thorium mod in my opinion i feel like you could throw these into vanilla terraria the century variation and selection would get way better because definitely the century class or the century subclass or just the century weapons definitely are very lackluster in terms of variety in the vanilla terraria but the old ones army you know that did help out a lot in that in adding more variation but then that also added in probably one of the hardest invasions especially in master mode but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to check out the thorium mod and check out all these centuries hey in the future thorium summoner playthrough who knows who knows make sure to leave some more suggestions for other subclasses or classes you want to see overhauled in this series i'll see y'all next time